the next bit of info as far as news relation goes is um casting there's been a lot a lot a lot of casting announcements um all rumor really but all seem to be true as they're coming from reliable sources and ones with connections to lucasfilm themselves uh the first one i want to talk about is the one that's being talked about the most and that is uh katie sackoff who is the voice of bo katan in the clone wars and in rebels And she's going to be reprising her role in live action in The Mandalorian Season 2. This is crazy news because I don't think any of us expected this. Now, why I don't think it's actually true is because Season 2, they say she's coming in Season 2. I just think that's a bit early. They finished filming it um, back in like November, uh, September, November, somewhere around then. That's when they finished filming. And now all these announcements of cast members are being flooded. Now I know her name is on season two on the IMDb page and listed as Bo-Katan, but I don't know. There's still part of me that's kind of like, is this really happening? You know, I feel like we would have known about this already, but Bo-Katan is, it makes sense that she's going to be involved in the Mandalorian because we just introduced the black saber at the end of the season one. And we know that her, her relationship with the black saber the dark saber, not black saber. The dark saber is of great importance importance to the history of Mandalorian culture. For those of you that don't know, I highly recommend going to watch Rebels, uh, and of course, all of Clone Wars if you haven't already. But uh, this is great. Katie Sackhoff is amazing. I think she is gorgeous too. She was she's in a lot of like horror movies. Uh, often plays like the mom and stuff like that. I remember I recently watched her in this movie called Don't Knock Twice which it's kind of a crappy horror movie, but she was great in it. She is absolutely stunning, like beautiful. (laughs) She's like the, um, and she's a great actress too. She's great, but I'm excited to see her play Bo-Katan in this. Now, of course, this is a, a rose, a lot of conflicts with other fans who have, you know, would have preferred that Ahsoka had been played by her voice actress as well, Ashley Eckstein. But, you know, we don't know the full story there. You know, um, Katie Sackhoff has a lot more live action experience than Ashley Eckstein does. For example, she has had a heavy role in Battlestar Galactica. Like I said, she's been in multiple horror movies and so much more. So I think she was in Riddick too. I could be wrong there, but I, I think she was in there. <laughs> anyway, the next bit of casting news is Tamara Morrison is returning uh, to a similar role. Um, as Jango Fett, but he'll be playing his son Boba Fett, also supposedly in Mandalorian season two. This is also crazy because I feel like we would have found this out too, but it, it could be true, guys. It could be, very well be true. The theories are that he is, um, his character was introduced in season one as the the unknown bounty hunter that's boots appeared in the bottom of the frame during the Tatooine episode. So it, it could fall in line, you know, he's crawled out of the Sarlacc pit and saved himself from death and has been living on Tatooine in the shadows since. And he sees someone else is coming in and taking bounties that he was after and now he's going to go collect the bounty on the Mandalorian himself, who knows. But um, the article that this is from, leaking this information, says that it'll be a very quick appearance of him in there. So I want to get too attached to seeing much of him but I do think it's really cool that Tamara Morrison is returning um I was kind of hoping that the the kid who played Boba Fett in the prequels would be the one to play Boba Fett in in, you know in anything after but Tamara Morrison is just as great (laughs) it'll be really refreshing to see his face again but it will be weird to see his face and not think about the clones from the prequels so we'll see and of course the last bit of casting news which has been talked about for for weeks for months but i haven't addressed it is hayden christensen being cast as anakin in the kenobi series now what could this be exactly how could how can he be casted and you know the important the specific importance of casting him playing anakin skywalker during this time period when we know at this point vader is completely masked and covered in his in his new uh, robot armor which was when Obi-Wan Kenobi is taking place. So could 
Peyton Christensen be involved by because they're showing flashbacks. You know, I, I, I seriously doubt that they're going to show Chris, Hayden Christensen's face completely covered in makeup and burn marks and you can't even tell that it's him. You know, I just I feel like they would have gone another route and hire someone a little bit more on the less expensive side to, to play that role since you can kind of get anybody and fulfill that that need. So I think it's going to be flashbacks. And of course, this isn't confirmed. This is just speculation and rumor, but, you know, it it could be true. He, he did express interest... It was either last year or two years ago that if he was asked to come back, he would he would be overjoyed and he would accept it in a heartbeat. So we'll see what happens. So who talks first? You talk first. I talk first. 